Because a Steam Link is $20 on eBay and a Raspberry Pi is $30, I'm assuming you already have a Raspberry Pi or that you don't know how to count numbers bigger than 10 once you run out of fingers. Either way, we're starting from the beginning of installing a fresh copy of Raspbian OS onto the Pi. If you haven't ever installed an OS on a Raspberry Pi before, there's a link in the description that'll give you the official download as well as some tips, shortcuts, and how to do that. What I'm showing you how to do is install Noobs, which is the easiest version to set up. Because we're installing Noobs Lite, it has to download the entire operating system from online, which does take a while. Now, instead of speeding up the video even more, I thought I'd take this time to show you a cool meme I found on the web. Neat. Once it's downloaded a fresh copy, the Raspberry Pi is going to restart. Again, this is a slow process, so to reward your patience, here's another meme. Now that there is an end in sight, we are setting up our language and time zone. The default password is Raspberry, and for security reasons, it'll want you to make it something harder to guess, which is why I changed mine to Password. I skipped setting up a wireless connection, because a wired connection is like the original Spider-Man movies. They're just better, and everybody knows it. Just when you think you're done, it's already time for updates on your 20 minute old installation. If you have any children over the age of 8, you might want to pause at this point, because if you wait for the updates to finish, your kids will already be halfway through college by the time this finishes. Assuming you've already installed Raspbian before, then just type in sudo apt update to get the updates that way. Now that enough time has passed for yet another version of the RX480 to launch, we can install Steam Link simply by typing sudo apt install Steam Link. Here's another meme while we wait. To run Steam Link, you can find it here in the games menu or just type in Steam Link. First thing you'll need to set up in Steam Link is a controller. All I did was plug in a wired Xbox 360 controller and I didn't have to click anything else. So cool, we're done now, right? At this point, the Steam Link app on the Pi will find whatever computers on the network are running Steam. Hint, hint, have a computer on the network running Steam at this point. Pick the computer you want to do all the running of the games and type the Raspberry Pi's PIN code into the pop-up that will appear on the computer. One more quick network test and you should be good to go. The first game I fired up was Rocket League, and for whatever reason my Elgato capture card was goofing up to make the recorded video from the Raspberry Pi look like it was constantly buffering. That's a recording error, not what I actually experienced. What I did experience is video compression and input lag. While I may be a terrible human being, I'm not so terrible of a Rocket League player. I'm used to playing on a 100Hz G-Sync display, and the input lag on this 60Hz TV on the Steam Link was just enough to delay my actions enough to let me miss the ball. More than normal. Some of this is from having my laptop running the game connected over Wi-Fi. And some of it is just the way it has to be because of the processing delay between compressing, sending, and decompressing the stream. As for the visual quality, it wasn't actually that bad. I would say it's noticeably better than watching a game on Twitch, for sure. It kind of felt similar to the difference between playing a game on your PC versus watching a YouTube recording of it. Using my phone to record the laptop and TV, Here's some real example of how bad the delay is. It's not terrible, it's probably better than playing a game that's hosted over the internet, but if you're a competitive gamer or you're doing something where reaction speed is super necessary, it's not going to be fun. And again, this is with the laptop connected over Wi-Fi, using a hardwired connection will help eliminate this lag. Moving on to another game, I next tried to fire up Gas Guzzlers Extreme, but there was no controller input and the video was scaled funny. 
It could be that game, it could be Steam Link's compatibility with that game, who knows. I fired up another game, in Versus, and had a blast. Because this game isn't too demanding to run, and a little video compression largely goes unnoticed with the visuals of this game, I genuinely had a hard time noticing if the game was running locally versus being streamed over the network. One nice bonus feature is that once I exited out of big picture mode from the Steam Link app, I was able to remote control the entire laptop remotely through the Raspberry Pi with a connected mouse and keyboard. I currently use an internet-based remote control software for my mining farm that heats up the house in winter, but if I didn't have that in place, I would probably use this. So then, is the Steam Link one of those things where you should just MAKE YOUR DREAMS COME TRUE! JUST DO IT! If you're going to stream over the network and you don't already have an HTPC, I would say go for it. Speaking of things you should go for and do right now, subscribing to this channel. I have a friend with a Steam Link and we're going to compare this Raspberry Pi solution versus his Steam Link, looking at things like input lag, compression quality, and so on. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in other gaming and hardware videos, those are right here. So go check those out while I go benchmark some graphics cards for the next three days, prepping for another big video project. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.